Hi everyone. This is a video on a homemade incubator that's got some quail eggs in it. Just want to show you it, show you how it works a little bit. Um, the eggs have gone in today. I've got a little bit of card here that I'm keeping note of what day it is. Today is the 23rd of May and the eggs have gone in today at about 2 o'clock. Um, and this is just to write down the time that I've turned them every day because I need to turn in at least three times a day. This is a little thermostat that you can get on eBay. Runs off 12 volts. Um, you can set the custom temperature to whatever you want it to. I've got it set at hovering around 37.5. Um, when it gets to 37.3, um, it comes on, which turns on the little light inside, which has this little halogen bulb, 12 volt. 20 watts but it gives off a little quite a lot of heat and once that warms up to 37.7 it goes off I'll just give you a quick look in here there's the quail eggs in there that way you can see the probe from the thermostat got a couple of other th uh, thermometers in here just to for a bit more accuracy I did um, calibrate the thermostat in ice water to zero degrees and also in boiling water, it's pretty accurate. I don't think it's 100%, but it's 99% accurate. The light's just gone off there because it's got to 37.7. Uh, that's That uh, thermometer there has also got a hydrogimeter, if that's how it's pronounced, which is uh, measuring the humidity, which is currently at about 50. And that's ideal, I believe, while they are uh, in there for the first 15 days. So on day 15 I'm going to add some more water um, cause that, and not turn the eggs anymore because that's when they'll be hatching. So there's 12 eggs in there. I did do another batch in a little cheap incubator I got off Amazon but I had no success. I did two batches. The second one was a bit more successful. Some of the egg, eggs did actually start to develop but none of them hatched. So I've made this custom uh, incubator. Those two red containers there I've got water in. Um, you need to add water that's the same temperature as the inside of the incubator. So 37 and a half degrees is the recommended temperature. There's another one just under the red part of the glass thermometer there which is a, a see-through bowl but I'm going to put some water in that one as well on day 15 and that should bring the humidity up to about 60 which is recommended while the hatching around 60. Um, it's running off a 12 volt power supply. This wire here goes to a fan, a 12 volt fan which is blowing that way against the bulb which is there. You can just see the bulb at the top, top of the uh, video there. Just got a little tea light candle aluminium tea light candle thing underneath just so that it's not too blinding if the birds do hatch. I hope it's not a problem because the light is going to be coming on and going off. I hope it's not too bright and it doesn't disturb them once they've hatched because they need to be in there for... well they can be in there up to 72 hours apparently after after day 15 you don't open the incubator anymore. I have to open it every day to turn the eggs three times but on day 15 today being day one um, you don't need to open the incubator at all because it can can uh, stop the eggs from hatching and can kill the chick because uh, they start to break through the shell but they've got a membrane around them apparently and once they're exposed to cold temperatures that membrane shrinks and uh, they can't actually get out the egg anymore so you need to leave it closed on day 15 once they do start hatching, which which could probably be day 17, is uh, the, is when they should start to hatch. You can they can be up there in there on their own for up to 72 hours without any food or water. They've got enough nutrients in their stomachs from the egg apparently. What I've been researching, you know, but I'll probably leave them in there for 42. I don't fancy leaving them in there for three days. Um, I'm hoping a few of these will hatch. I'll obviously make a, another video if we're successful. If there's not another video then I'm 
I'm guessing it's unsuccessful. But yeah, this is, like I said, the fan 12 volts. That's the 12 volt 20 watt halogen bulb, which provides heat. You could use anything for heat. Some people use a normal household uh, bulb, 40 watt bulb, but what I didn't really want to mess about with was mains electricity coming in here. I've got this in a little uh, case. But yeah, the two, <coughs> the two points here are for the, um, whatever this thing is called, which basically switches it on and off. This is the power, this is 12 volts to power the actual thermostat itself. But once this is on, it completes the circuit, turns the bulb on. This is the thermocouple probe temperature sensor going in there, and that's just suspended down there, it's just dangling. Um, and this is just a polystyrene cooler box that I got off eBay for £10 delivered. It's about 40 centimetres wide, 40, 45 centimetres wide, um, maybe 30 and a bit tall and 30 and a bit deep, but it's big enough. Also, you can probably see in there I've got chicken wire, and that's uh, one centimetre or eight millimetres, I think, wide chicken wire that I've, I had left because I built a, a little bird cage in the garden. But underneath that's a plastic tray. Um, it's an old plastic drawer that I cut about an inch, the bottom off, it's about an inch deep. Um, and my plan was, if, if I needed to, was to put more water in there, but the, the humidity seems to be okay. So I can put water in the actual, in the bottom down, where are we, here, there, underneath the wire, which will fill it with water. Um, I'm hoping that when the quails hatch there's enough room there they're not, the holes are not too big for them to struggle at all I'm, th I'm sure they'll be okay walking along that um, yeah so the chicken wire is zip tied to the metal sorry the plastic tray I suppose that's at the bottom I can't really get you in an angle anymore over there but it covers the whole bottom um, I might take these thermometers out when day 15 comes. Anyway, I think I've rambled on for too long. I don't want this video to be too long. I've probably gone on a bit too far. But thanks for watching the video. Uh, comment on it if you if you want any tips, I suppose. If there's anything you want to know. Or if you can give me any advice on how to be successful. Oh, there's, there's six vent holes in the top. It's, you need to provide ventilation. Um, I think that covers everything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.